Alright, hi there. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create ambient occlusions um, for models using AC3D and Blender. Okay, so, um, right, in Flight Gear you use ambient occlusions to get the realistic uh, shadow effect. I mean, it's not a shadow, but it's, uh, it's like, you know, the area around objects get darkened. Um, Rembrandt in Flight Gear actually creates its own ambient occlusion, but then I would I mean I still uh, create my own uh, my own ambient occlusions anyway because uh, that way we're not gonna you know eat up the CPU with Rembrandt you could use Rembrandt for the other features because this is easily accessible um, right okay so first of all I have a basic texture uh, right now I've modeled a I've modeled a gear liver for the ATR 72 so here's the thing this is and there's no texture on it and I've also created a te uh, texture for it um, you might want to make your textures a bit lighter than what it's supposed to be because the ambient occlusions are going to darken it a bit so I, I need this thing to be uh, light gray this to be dark gray and this to be red I'm going to be creating ambient occlusions for this and this but not the red thing ok so now it's time to load up the textures so first um, select the objects you want load texture there's gear now I'm gonna right away get this down to where I need it that's the red area and it's not the, the, this is a tiny area cuz uh, you know you don't need space for non ambient occlusion area Okay, so I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna export it as 3ds gear liver and there we don't need this open. Okay, so you have your 3ds file. I'm gonna delete my backup. Okay, I'm gonna open Blender now. Uh, space. Um, well, yeah. Now uh, this is about Blender 2.6.2. Um, you have a lot of toolbars and stuff, but then I just, you know, search for the tool I need using space. It's like the easiest way to go about. So I'm going to do space import uh, 3ds. You could also go to file and import, but right, I'm going to go there, select the file. Um, just to get in the center, we selected. Okay, so as you see, this is this is flat. This is flat objects, and first I'm going to fix the view. That's function five. So fn five gonna give you a you know um, a, l a better um yeah you get it right okay and then I'm gonna go space shade okay um, I guess I have to deselect okay I'm gonna select all with a space shade smooth uh, it looks kind of weird but then um, it fixes around the edges and stuff it'll look better with textures now I'm gonna right click here in the divider split area and select an area to split change that to UV map editor uh, edit mode there we go got the texture loaded up on the right and the object here on the left so I'm gonna take the thing I want to UV map so I'm gonna t take this it's supposed to be gray um, space that would be smart UV project 66 highland margin 0 0.01 0 0.01 Enter. Okay. Edit mode. There we go. Oh wait, this is for. Okay, wait. We can fix that in AC 3D. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is now. Okay, so that's this object mode. I'm gonna go right. Space smart UV project. And yeah okay so I'm gonna export to 3ds oh wait select all export 3ds and replace it uh, oops, close blender go back to AC 3d uh, yeah I mean you could do this whole thing in blender but then I like using AC 3d much more than blender it's I think this is much more you know intuitive. I don't know what you say. Okay. Um 
Now select the object separately and fix up the texture. So this is the gray part. I'm gonna move it up to the gray part like that. And this is the dark part. I'm gonna move it down here. Um, just do yeah. So you know, the space doesn't get wasted over there. There we go. You know, you could just move around stuff so you make use of the space uh, as best as you can. Okay, so once you're done, save it, overwrite, and export back to that overwrite. Yes, go back to Blender, import 3ds. Flight deck gear lever. I go to texture. This thing should have its texture. And I'm gonna use selected. Uh, sele oops. Escape select all and shade smooth. Okay, shouldn't make a difference here. But then if you go to solid, you'll see that thing again. Texture. Um, split area. UV map. Edit mode and got its texture okay so now I'm gonna UV map it first of all I'm gonna delete this be while I UV map this thing that's cuz um that's because if I have that thing there it's gonna create a black spot there so when when the gears down you're gonna see a black spot and you don't want that so I'm just gonna temporarily delete that and select that edit mode now here in the first camera tab, we go to bake. I think this is here. Uh, render. No, I can't leave. I'll just bake it here. Ambient occlusions. I'm gonna set margin to four and bake. So you see, you got the um, good object mode. You can see it there. That's your uh, UV. Yeah, that's your ambient occlusion. I'm gonna export a save image. Gear AO1. Save. Okay. I'm gonna undo a little undo there we go um, gonna I'm gonna select this object edit mode um, do the same thing here merge into 4 and bake oh oops I sh Tonight, oh yeah, I'm painting potions and bake. Okay, object mode. Um, if you want, you could remove it, but I suggest you have this thing there so that the shadow gets on it. And even when you move down, you'll need that shadow. So, right. So once you have that done, you save as image. Oh, oops. Gear AO two. Save yep you don't need to export it back or anything now let's go to the folder with the ambient occlusion images gonna open the two ambient occlusion images and the actual texture with GIMP okay so first of all um, colors color to alpha color white to alpha copy paste with that new layer um let's call that handle and this the same thing colors color to alpha okay copy new layer um base okay now as you see you know this thing gets a little too dark so to fix that out I'm gonna get it down to just where I want it um, the opacity okay merge merge and save close right now when you open AC3D and have the gear lever it should have good ambient occlusions there we go So right, that's how you do ambient occlusions in AC3D Blender and GIMP.
thank you for watching and I'll be posting uh, a few more videos soon. Okay, that's all.